honeysuckle vine, where the honeysuckle vine finds itself around the door. A sweetheart mine, sweetheart mine, is waiting patiently for me. So please come back to Sunny Brook Farm, back to the farm. The typical American farm presents many interesting sights. This show horse is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every gate. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer and closer. By trees, we find many species of bird life. The birds always. Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, string, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Another familiar sight around the farm is the grasshopper. Here's one. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. As you all know, the grasshopper chews tobacco-like substance. And human-like in his actions, he not only chews, but spits out the fluid. Watch. He's chewing. He draws back. And there... Sorry, folks. The Hayes office won't let me do it. <laughs> Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own.
Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Henry! Coming, mother. The modern farm is conducted on a business like... Well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? Well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? Get me out of here! <laughs> and so, as the day draws to a close, and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be? Dinner time! <laughs> From the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C.